Tidak banyak memang, kini sisa-sisa peninggalan Islam yang masih dipertahankan. Namun, pemerintah setempat menjamin sebagai kota yang ramah pendatang. Warga muslim pun bisa nyaman tinggal di sini. Uh, so as for the Muslim tourists, uh, are they coming here often? This is also one of their destinations? They're, they're coming more and more. We have more and more. We have developed also a strategy for a family-friendly destination, mm. which I think is very important for yeah. Muslim families. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the next. Uh, these are the next markets that we want to yeah, see, the yeah. next visitors we want to have exactly. in Thessaloniki. Uh, this is something new for Thessaloniki, actually. But uh, I think that uh, the refugees which were coming to Thessaloniki mm. due to the uh, sad uh, yeah. developments yeah. in their countries, somehow they are educating the people yeah. here. Okay. So I think this is the beginning. Yeah. And uh, people get to know what halal is. Okay. We have discussions with the Sapanji Museum in Turkey. Mm. We had museums. Uh, we had discussions with the museum in Doha. We yeah. visited the great museum there of yeah. Islamic art. Yeah. So this is the next uh, thing, big thing that we want to have here in Thessaloniki. Demi memenuhi operasional lembaganya. Muhammad pun sambil bekerja sebagai auditor di perusahaan konsultan sertifikasi halal, Greek Export namanya. Bersama koleganya Thomas Fasaras, Muhammad mengaudit sistem produksi suatu perusahaan yang tengah mengajukan sertifikasi halal. Ia bertanggung jawab penuh mengauditnya, lantaran memiliki pengetahuan mumpuni untuk menilai. Apakah sistem produksi di satu perusahaan sudah atau belum memenuhi syariat Islam? Karena bicara soal halal bukanlah sebatas mengandung bahan-bahan yang dilarang atau tidak. Namun, juga mesti menyeluruh mulai dari proses hingga sistem yang berjalan. Belakangan, isu halal dalam perindustrian Yunani kian diperhatikan. Hal ini seiring kegiatan ekspor yang tengah ditingkatkan pemerintahnya. So uh, before uh, 2012, there were um, only a few, very few companies that are certified mainly by European certifiers. Um, and then when we started in the beginning, we saw that there was a big uh, opportunity in the sense of Greek production, uh, food production, producers of several different types of food that they wanted to export. So. The booming of the halal industry in Greece is not really tied neither to tourism nor to local community. It is tied with the export business. So uh, they had to move into that direction to obtain the certificate. Now this has grown uh, up to, um, you know, we have like uh, approximately 100 companies that are certified in that area of the Balkans, so Greece and surrounding countries. Oh, from the technical part, I mean, how we, we the company got uh, certified. Uh, firstly, when we are going to, the, to a new company, to a new client, we gave them some brief about the Islamic uh, Islamic uh, standard, about the pillars of Islam, how okay. important is the halal in Islam. So every company know, knows uh, how important is that issue for us. We investigate, we check carefully every ingredient of the product, we check the processing, how it is uh, how it's processed, we check even the uh, till the back, the till packaging, and also the warehouses and the zip of the cross contamination of some haram product. So to be uh, fully sure that it is totally 100% halal. Alhamdulillah, apa yang tengah berkembang di sini kini kian menunjukkan bahwa Allah memang menurunkan Islam ke muka bumi sebagai rahmat bagi seluruh umat. Kita sebagai umatnya hanya tinggal mendakwakannya dengan cara-cara yang damai.